before we get started with today's video, I just want to say a huge shout out to my patrons out there. They actually funded and supported this whole video. Without them, it wouldn't have been possible. So huge shout out to you guys. Thank you very much. Now let's get on with the video. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. And today I want to answer the question, where's the best place to buy aquarium plants? So what I did was simple. I went to four different online plant sellers or sellers that you can buy plants from and bought the same plant from each. I would have liked to include other sellers like H2O Plants and uh, Boost Plants uh, to name a few just because they're pretty standard uh, plant resellers in this hobby and I think that would be a good benchmark to use but unfortunately they were out of stock of the plant I wanted and I needed to make sure I was using the same plant for each one and they could be in stock for a while when I was filming this so unfortunately we couldn't include them. So instead of doing six sellers, we're just doing four today, but it should give us a pretty good baseline. I ordered from Aquarium Co-op, they should be our benchmark. Hopefully they should be the best in this competition because not only did I pay the highest price for it, but also they're just a well-known brand. They should produce really high quality products. That's what I've heard and that's what I've experienced buying from them. I bought from eBay, which is a wild card. It could be good, could be bad. Bought from Etsy, same as eBay, and Amazon. Uh, all those three are sort of out there. Who knows what will happen? Um, I will have links for every plant that I bought. Same exact seller in the description if you're interested. If one of them proves to be really good, you can go check that out. And I can't promise that every plant I'm going to buy is going to show up, that shows up to me, is going to show up the same to you. So there's a variable because we're dealing with a live uh, specimen and they just, they're not uniform. They can change. So who knows? I could get a really terrible one from a seller when everybody else has really good uh, reviews with them, but even if I do get a really terrible one, the seller should, shouldn't be sending out terrible ones, so I'm still gonna throw that in here. So, without further ado, let's get into our first package which arrived today, Aquarium Co-op. Here we've got all of our plants. Now, some of them are awesome, and some of them are awesome. Alright, so for all these sellers, I'm using the standard shipping option, and Aquarium Co-op arrived two days after I ordered it, and I've always known them to be really fast shipping, but also I'm in the same state that they ship out from, so it's not too hard for them to get it to me pretty quick. So, I mean, who knows if that's just me, but from what I can tell, they definitely prioritize your order. I got mine shipped out the day after I ordered it, and it came in really well padded and safe. They use priority mail. This is just the $4.99 shipping option. I didn't use uh, expedited shipping or whatever. This is just how fast it'll come in if you just order the standard stuff. So I've been pretty happy with it. So of course you got your standard aquarium co-op nice packaging and unfortunately uh, aquarium co-op has started doing this thing where they uh, cap your order like you have to have, pay a minimum of $14.99 um, and unfortunately the plant that I was buying in Ubi Standard Petite was cheaper than that so I had to buy some extra stuff from their website and they say it's for um, environmental purposes but I mean, I'm not super sure about that but you know, it was a little bit of a bummer I had to pay more for this, I think I paid like 20 something dollars just to kind of meet the price cap so I can actually order it so that was a little bit frustrating but that's okay I bought two extra things one thing that I kind of wanted and then something else that just helped make sure the order was the perfect price so that I can actually get it shipped to me so it's a slight downside from ordering from a Chrome co-op here but you are getting pretty quality products from what I can tell so let's see what we got we got our nice little angelfish decal sticker I love the aquarium co-op free stickers these are great and you get a little just shipping invoice. Thank you. So obviously this is a well-known brand. They do things right around here. We got a plant. We got our Episto Cave, which is so tiny. I didn't think it'd be so small. We got a little Episto Cave. I didn't think it'd be this tiny. That's kind of cool. And then of course our pipette, which I just bought so that I could um, actually order. All right, so let's get into what we actually are looking for here, the plant. So, well packaged, Ziploc bag, and some sort of paper towel here. Let's see how good this plant is. Um, again, this plant, I think, retails for like $8.99 on their website or something like that. I'll fact check that. So, not the cheapest. All right, so here's the plant I got from Aquarium Co-op. Uh, for the price, um, it's definitely got some good root structure. You can see the roots coming through the bottom right there. Um, it doesn't have a ton of leaves on it, but Anubis does grow really slow. Looks like it's got one damaged leaf right here, but some new growth coming in. Uh, definitely just one plant. Looks like it's been uh, in the store for a while. You can see there's actually some moss growing on it, so this is growing the most. And, I mean, I'm not super stoked with that. I mean, I'm happy with it, but it's also not, you know, I don't know if it was worth my... 20 something dollars I had to pay for in order to actually buy it um, so that's a little bit unfortunate but you know it's a healthy plant and that's what we're looking for we'll see if we can get any other seller with a uh, larger plant size 
So there's aquarium co-op, sort of the standard of the industry when it comes to plant selling. Got some, some dead leaves, but also some new leaves coming in. So I'm pretty happy with it. Got some good root structure. This will definitely adjust well to the tank. So let's move on to our next seller. Everybody. two days later and our Etsy package arrived so that is four days after we ordered it so not actually too bad shipping speed nothing close to Quarren Co op but faster than both eBay and Amazon so let's crack this thing open see our plan all right so let's get this thing opened up the seller that I bought from is I think it's called Pacific Aquatica and um, there's a little bit damaging on the packaging here but that was actually my dog he hates the mailman and he has a tendency to bite any packages that we bring in um, just, that's sort of an issue he has um, so that's uh, his fault not uh, actually anyone shipping it so it came in pretty uh, safely and a big box for just one plant all right inside we've got a couple of just like pads so really well packaged a little let's see what is it just like a little pamphlet and then the plant itself so here's the plant well packaged sort of vacuum sealed up looks like the seller knows what they're doing and let's take a look at it so it's not huge um it's definitely a healthy plant it's got some new leaves in here um but it's definitely a little bit small uh it's got a some roots coming out the bottom as you can see right here so very healthy plant but it's a little bit small and uh it's definitely coming in uh, behind aquarium co-op here so aquarium co-op still winning um it does have com really nice health uh, aquarium co-op had a dead leaf but this one doesn't have any dead leaves looks really nice but aquarium co-op has it uh just in a uh, plant size wise and stuff like that uh, by quite a bit and again paid maybe twelve dollars for this um so you know eh but i mean hey it's a it's a plant it'll work it's not uh completely terrible but it's also not as good as what i would like but it was a pretty good deal i will say all right so we got our package for our next seller ebay so let's crack this one open and see how it did all right, so eBay is a little bit weird just because, you know, it's not a consistent thing. It's coming from a bunch of just random people, but this one looks pretty good. We got just a little pamphlet telling us about different types of plants and all the places that this uh, person sells from. And they got some heat insulation in here, just some bubble wrap, and we got the plant. So the plant itself is packaged in this nice sort of just like Ziploc bag sealed thing like all the other sellers. And this is actually, I'm really happy with this. Look at this. So... It's got a lot of leaves on it. It's got some new leaves coming out here. It's got one dead leaf here, but um, it looks really good. I don't see any roots coming through the bottom, so um, unlike the, some of the other sellers, so it doesn't have as big of a root structure, but it does have a lot of leaves, which is really nice, and does just like, just like all the other sellers, it's one rhizome, and this is definitely the best one so far. Um, it looks really good, um, so eBay so far is doing great. And for the price I paid, I think this was a pretty good average price, and shipping might have actually been free. So I'm pretty happy with this. It looks pretty good to me. And it's definitely the best one we've found so far, even better than a Crown Co-op. Alright, now it's Amazon time. This one was shipped from a seller who goes by the name of Marcus Fish Tanks. I think I've seen them on eBay too. But came here um, pretty... It didn't go too fast. I mean, came the same day as eBay. But it was like four or five days after I ordered, so it was in the postage for a while. We'll just see how it came along. I mean, Amazon's sort of a wild card. We'll see if it's good or bad. Pretty simple brown paper wrapping. We get a little card right here, a little coupon code, and the plant itself, and also in sort of a sealed plastic bag thing. All right, sliding it out of the package. Um, looks like... Huh. So... <laughs> can't say I'm not disappointed in this um it's um it's pretty much a dead plant uh there's like I don't see any alive leaves on here like <laughs> the leaves literally just fall right off like that just fell right off and uh the rhizome looks a little mushy um no roots coming out of the bottom yeah I'm yeah it's not very good I don't even see a single leaf okay there's one leaf this leaf is the only leaf that seems to be alive um, you can maybe reconstruct it, but Anubius just takes so long to regrow. This is a pretty big hit for, um, I paid like 17 or 13 to 17 dollars for this thing, free shipping, but still, um, definitely the worst one we've seen, and, um, a little bit disappointing. You know, actually, a lot bit disappointing. This is a pretty pathetic right here. All 
right, here we are. The moment you've all been waiting for. What is my favorite plant? What is the best plant that we got today? So we're going to start with last place. That is pretty easily um, Amazon. It's just like this leaf is literally falling off right now. It's um, it's dismal. The rhizome looks like it's starting to rot. Um, although it does have some sort of a good root structure. It's just like, look at this thing. It's just, it's pretty sad. It's kind of pathetic. It doesn't have very many leaves. It's got like one healthy leaf. Everything else is falling off, dying, withering. It just doesn't look like it was take, taken very good care of when it was in their care and didn't seem like uh, the best experience to me. And it's just a very small plant uh, compared to everything else I bought. So easy last place and uh, sorry about that Amazon, but I will not be buying from you again. Or at least this seller, I guess. Third place is Etsy. So they... I mean, easily, it's just a very good plant. Look at the root structure on this thing. Very nice. Only one or two leaves that have any damage on them at all. The leaves look vibrant green. They've got some new leaves coming in. Super nice white roots. Just all around good experience. Shipped fast, and I just really enjoy it. Look at this root right here. This is a healthy plant. Good rhizome. Very healthy. Exactly what I would want and expect from a seller. So I'm very happy with this, and easy third place. Second place goes to Aquarium Co-op, so although they do have a really nice long root structure here and um, possibly two little plants you can divide off this thing, it does have quite a few dead leaves and doesn't have the same spread as the first place uh, one. It's got all these dead leaves right here as you can see, and although it looks healthy and it does barely eke out past Etsy with leaf number and just size, um, it's not perfect. And although I am happy with my experience, I didn't love uh, having to buy all that other stuff um, in order to actually buy this thing. And I know it was for quote unquote environmental purposes, but I feel like making me buy more stuff would make it worse for the environment. Like me consuming more products and using more stuff like that is going to be worse for the environment than me just buying one plant. But hey, I don't know. Didn't love that part of it, but just going on plant alone, this is definitely a second place. Now first place is quite easily from eBay right here. I was very happy with this. Only one damaged leaf here, a really good spread, lots of really vibrant uh, dark green leaves, some new leaves coming in, some good white roots, nice long, rhizome is healthy, looks like a very good plant and I would happily put this in any of my tanks. It just looks good. I had a good experience with it. it took a little longer to get to me, but it was definitely worth the wait and the plant is healthy. Alright everybody, as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments what your experience has been from any of these sellers, if it was different than mine or similar. Uh, links for all the plants that I bought from each seller will be in the description if you're interested in checking them out. Can't promise that your experience will be the same as mine, but hey, this is as best I could do to replicate um, what a just a standard hobby is buying a plant from one of these sellers would be. Once again, thank you very much to my Patreon for sponsoring today's video, making this whole thing possible. If you want to join in, uh, there is a link in the description to help me out. Uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.